Hello everyone, today I will be sharing another video tutorial for QNAP smart networking products. On our first video, I have shared how to set up an open VPN server and client with the Qhora. And this time, I will be sharing with you how to set up an open VPN client with a PC and mobile phone. As this is our second video on open VPN, I have explained what kind of VPN we have in QNAP and the benefits of using a VPN. Let me quickly go through it again. Then we go to the settings. For the topology, we already have an existing Q1 network in the HQ and the branch office connection. Outside of office, instead of using a QHORA as open VPN client, we will use a PC and mobile phone to connect. I'll show you later how to connect an open VPN with Mac OS, Windows 10, and iOS phone. For the setup process, there are three steps. Step one, establish a one connection on QHORA, PC, and mobile phones. Step two, on the server side, we need to enable QVPN OpenVPN server and to create a client list. Step 3. On the client side, we need to install OpenVPN or TunnelBlick to create a QVPN client connection. For my OpenVPN server setting, I need to log into the Qhora GUI settings. I need to go to the dashboard and check if my internet connection is up or not. If not, I need to go to the network, port definition, in action, I can set up my WAN. I set up a PPPoE connection to get a public IP address for my VPN server. After that, I need to go to the QVPN server. I go to the QVPN settings and enable the OpenVPN server. After that, I need to download the configuration file. Once I'm done with the configuration file, I go to the client list. The client list, I created three accounts for my client to connect to the server later on. And that's it for the OpenVPN server setting. For the OpenVPN client setup on the Windows 10, we first need to install the OpenVPN tool. Once we have installed the OpenVPN tool, we can now import the file. We first import a file here, and then we select the file which we have downloaded from the OpenVPN server. Once the file is imported successfully, we now go back to the OpenVPN and then select connect. We use the client list we have added on the OpenVPN server earlier. Once we have connected, we can verify if we can connect to the LAN side of the OpenVPN server. Now we can ping to the LAN side of the OpenVPN server. It means that our Windows 10 is connected successfully. For the OpenVPN client setup on the Mac OS, we first need to install TunnelBlick tool. Once we have installed the TunnelBlick tool, we need to download the configuration file from the OpenVPN server. After we have downloaded the OpenVPN server config file, we open it with the TunnelBlick. Then we open it from the TunnelBlick and connect to the config file. It will ask you to input the client list account. So we would type the account that we have added from the OpenVPN server before, then connect. Then once it is connected, we verify that we still have an internet connection. And that we can ping to the LAN side of the OpenVPN server. Since we have verified that we can still ping to the LAN side of the OpenVPN server, it means our OpenVPN uh, connection is established. For the OpenVPN client connection on the IS phone, 
we need to install first the OpenVPN tool. Once we have installed the OpenVPN tool, we need to download the configuration file from the OpenVPN server. Once we have downloaded the OpenVPN server, we add the config file and then log into the client list we have added on the OpenVPN server. Then we verify the connection. Now we have connected to the OpenVPN server. We can verify from ping if it can ping to the LAN side of the OpenVPN server. As you can see, we can ping on the LAN side of the OpenVPN server. It means that our iPhone is connected to the OpenVPN server. We are now done with the settings. If you guys have only one QHORA, you can still set it up as an OpenVPN server and try to connect your PC or mobile phones as an OpenVPN client. This will help you keep your data communication more secure. Since we are at the end of our video tutorial, if you guys want to know more about other video tutorials, please let us know. Thank you for listening, take care, and keep safe.